have you ever really looked at a shell and noticed its shape or its size or color or the quality of the texture? If you notice these cowrie shells, they're very smooth. What can account for that smoothness? Was it a particular organism that lived in the shell? How do these shells differ from other shells you may have collected on a beach? Hi, I'm Trish Mahalik. I teach at Hall Middle School in Larkspur. And this is one of my favorite exhibits at the Exploratorium. The title of the exhibit is the Shell Guessing Game. The object of the game is for two people to play, one person on this side, one person on the other side, to determine whether or not the description of the shell is the same as their partner's. So we have the same set of shells on both sides. And the reason why I like this exhibit is because it allows students to understand the idea of classification. Why it is that we group shells into particular shapes or sizes or colors. Additionally, it also helps students understand the concept of change over time, that is evolution. Why it is that these particular shells have different shapes and sizes, different colors, depending upon perhaps the habitat or the organism that had lived in the shell. So the object of the game is also for students to describe in detail the shape, the size, the color of the shell, talk through the tube to their partner, and eliminate possibilities. So if they're sure that this isn't the cell, cell, shell that's being described, they just push this to indicate that it's red and that's not one of the shells, so it's to eliminate possibilities. So again, this is one of my favorite exhibits at the Exploratorium, the Shell Guessing Game.